Hi, we're, we're from Polar, yeah, Woody, we? Woody and Fab, uh, and you're watching Grasser Production. Hello, Sunglasses Gang from Nuremberg here. We're here with Polar. So guys, my first question is, what's that behind your, your band name, Polar? What does that mean? Where does it come um, There isn't really a meaning. We were sat outside a practice room about um, eight years ago, um, thinking of a name that our drummer could spell. <laughs> um, and it was literally came from uh, basically a word that we thought that was catchy, rememberable, um, easy to sort of pronounce and say. Um, we had been in previous bands together, or Fabian and I had, uh, where band names have been quite hard. So, like, especially if you're in a noisy environment, to sort of get across. So, it was just uh, it was just a cool name. We just liked it. It, it was there's no sort of like depth to it. Although in the past, people have interviewed us and told us stuff about our name, and I'd be like. Wow, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's fundamentally what it is. It helps with a, a design point of view as well, you know, when it's just sort of simple and mm -hmm. five letters mm -hmm. that kind of look strong on a t-shirt, like a circle but and a triangle. Yeah, I mean, like Woody said, uh, our old band name. People, you'd say it to someone, and people would be like, you know, instantly forget it because they just don't remember it. It's not mm -hmm. easy, you know. So yeah, that was partly our our reason. Okay. So um, you got a, um, a record called No Cure No Savior, which is quite um, negative, no? Uh, Isn't it? it? Yeah, kind of. So um, what's, it's, what's the meaning? It's a it's a, it's a negative and a positive kind of in the middle between it. Um, it's basically we for our, like the, the record we've just done for Nike and Asavia, we kind of looked at the world a little bit more, um, like into issues, uh, especially sort of focusing on sort of homelessness, um, and it kind of the name kind of came from that really. Like the, the it's the fact that there's nothing to help people so much anymore. You know, there's no cure. You know, diseases and sicknesses is at an all-time high, um, and everyone's waiting for something to to happen for it to change. But it doesn't. It, it's on a, a constant decline. So it kind of came from that um, but yeah it it sounds negative but I guess within the content of the lyrics and the songs there are positives that sort of balance it out okay. yeah I mean it, I, I think if you look at each individual song you know there's there's messages there there's um, stories that you want to sort of kind of put a, put across and uh, I mean, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Woody, but it's kind of people nowadays kind of seem to have less and less interaction, you know, like talking and, and having, you know, together. Everything's kind of on a, compu on a, on a computer. Humans have forgotten what it's like to be human. Like, people aren't people anymore. People are living in an Apple Mac prison, which they're connected to 24-7, you know, like... And I think I guess the album name kind of hmm. I guess sums that all up. You know. So so it's a kind of an accusation on today's um, society. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Uh, yeah. Okay. And and the, the contrast between the record title and the songs um, is something that you did on purpose. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. The the whole uh, the whole concept, the whole idea. Uh, yeah. It was. I. It was done. It was a conscious effort to do that. Um, you know. Uh, none of our records before had been. I guess so directed to like uh, a wider scope of issues, more of a, an internal kind of issue amongst us and things we've gone through and personal sort of problems and things like that. Um, this was the first time we've ever actually sort of like branched out. So, so yeah, it was a, it was definitely a conscious effort to do it. It's definitely like a, a look at the wider world, isn't it? So things that we've noticed about the world with previous albums that we've done. Uh, it was more sort of what we what we encounter problems that we face as a band um, whereas this is a lot more like about the world you know problems that other people are facing so yeah I mean it feels good to have more of a, a an actual um, sto not story but like a message behind it you know people relate to that more yeah. they, that, that person to relate people can relate to the ideas the concepts um, do you Uh, do people also um, come back to you and tell you, well, um, with your song, I don't know, with, with song AB, you really touched me and... Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I think that's uh, one of the beauty of our songs throughout the whole 
the whole kept, like cycle of albums we've done is people make their own ideas, uh, have their own perceptions on what's being said within the lyric content. So yeah, people, and you know, we do get a lot of messages and it, it's incredible feeling to have people say that, you know, that our music has done a lot for them, like has helped people along. It's, you know, we've had people where they've met be, got into relationships where they've met people at our shows and like you know so there's this kind of nice sort of personal feeling within the music that people do attach themselves to or so, have so maybe there might be a cure for it might be a cure who knows who knows if yeah i mean the messages that we do get definitely make us feel good in terms of well the hard work that we put into our music and and everything else around the band you know it's giving people like happiness, fulfillment, enjoyment. Like you say, people meet each other at our gigs. Um, there's people that have had problems, family problems, health problems, and have found that our music has helped them or some of the words that we say has helped them. So it, it's a nice feeling. It makes it feel worthwhile putting in all this hard work. It's nice. So, so it's nice to hear that you seem to um shout out words for other people and, and, and seem to step in for other people course, and yeah. and blood for blood also seems to be a powerful song with a powerful video where you seem to shout out words really so so from really the bottom of your heart and in the bottom of your bones even um and it's hard words you you try to put a um yeah kind of Uh, to put up a sign with um, what is it um, that really pisses you off <laughs> what right now no, no, <laughs> I don't want to hear that right now um, <laughs> what stuff really pisses us off uh, I think corruption power uh, abuse of power um, I think the fact that uh, like we've said previously um, people not being people anymore humans aren't acting like humans um, and it affects The way you know affects generations. It's a scary thought to think what the generations below us are going to have to go through if we're going through this now. So you know, it's it it's a, a, a massive overview of just uh, the struggles that people go through in order to line someone else's pocket or the to, for someone to abuse power. So so yeah, that's kind of what really really fucks me off. <laughs> blood, blood for Blood is a very angry song. Yeah. Probably the angriest yeah. on that album. Yeah, there's some other ones which are more beautiful, different, you know. Lost Souls is pretty angry. Sometimes we can be pretty angry at various things, but we've got a platform. Of course, but we've got a platform. We play aggressive music, you know, we're not in, in, in the Beatles, you know, it's, it's aggressive music, so. in the Beatles. That'd be great. <laughs> but, um. It uh, wouldn't have been cool for your hair, wouldn't it? Exactly, right? <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, with, the, with this sort of music, you know, you've got the platform to be able to talk about certain topics, certain issues. It's just good that people can relate to them. Mm -hmm. um, no, no, I think he's done a fantastic job there. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, is there any show um, which was um, very cool for you? You can remember any any moment on stage that means a lot to you? Do you know, it, over the years, Like our band has obviously started off, and you would get occasional shows where like kids would sing along or like the place would go crazy, and it's an amazing feeling now that we get that on a consistent level. So yeah, there are the, the moments that every show has its moment, like um, and uh, and fun, like fantastic. All the shows we play now are really good, and people get really interactive. Um, I think it's always for us. I think festivals is always a good one if you walk away from a festival because you get such a nice heavy load of people coming through and you walk away like something like summer blast you know summer blast mm -hmm. yeah we played that one year um when we had just released shadow by vultures uh, and we were just stoked to be part of it the lineup was sick and uh we played in like the downstairs bit in the tunnel and everyone just started singing along and it was like i think that was the first time we all went damn <laughs> they know the words <laughs> they've listened to the album um, and it was an incredible feeling and since that moment it's happened frequently more and more which is great and and i can't say how much thankful we are for the people that support our band and allow us to to continue to do things like that for you personally uh download festival i think mm -hmm. for me was uh probably the biggest show uh biggest festival we've done and it was definite sort of tick on the list you know uh 
and 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 it was great. I mean, it was it was so busy. The reaction was great. Uh, we don't seem to get nervous before we go on stage mm -hmm. so much anymore. Mm -hmm. But download, we were very nervous. No one spoke to each other. <laughs> Everyone was just focused, uh, and that 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 will always stay. So who who um, was on stage before on download? Heart in hand, I think. Height and hand were on just before us, um, and we managed to go and watch Linkin Park after that, which was great. Yeah, it's all bring me. That was wicked. So good. While she sleeps. Yeah, it was a good time. Cool. These are the moments you live for, or you're waiting for, and you're wishing for. I don't remember. There was a, a incident on the Saturday where I don't really remember any of the Saturday of download, and I came back covered in mustard. But the, the whole other time mustard. was sick. Yeah. Um, the whole uh, the whole rest of the festival was sick. Yeah. yeah. We had a bar. Yeah. In, in mustard. mustard. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, the mustard man. They were like some of the yeah some of the drunkier days of the career. Uh, uh, but yeah, I agree with Fab. Yeah, that's that loads a good one. <laughs> so uh, your German Wikipedia entry says that um, that until 2014 your music was um, primarily um, marked by your raw screams, um, yeah. but only till 2014. What did you change uh, since 2014? I I've become a better singer. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> uh, I understand my vocal range a bit more. Um, I just went away and did loads of work. Um, tons of work on my voice. You have to be careful with um, doing a lot of screaming because you can quite hurt yourself really badly. Um, you get a lot of nodules and then we get one of those. Yeah, it's going to be a bad time. So, yeah, um, exercise, fitness, eat better, smoke less, drink less, um, focus a little bit more um, and do a lot more warming up. So, like, yeah, I just basically learned how to use my voice as an instrument. So uh, and it, and I'm still learning life. now. Yeah. Healthier lifestyle. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say I live, I'm not going to say I'm like the cleanest of the clean, but like, <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely make a conscious effort nowadays to try and be a little bit less party, a bit more show. The, so the, the rest of us make up for his lack of drinking. <laughs> yeah. We drink more, so that they, he. They, he they drink more. I drink less. You're English. That's cute. Exactly right. That's <laughs> Sorry the for the prejudice, it's, it's, but it's the English I think have I think a lot of people think we have an alcohol problem. <laughs> <laughs> but, you think, but, but, but you're honest. That's that's what you think maybe, about Germans as well, don't yeah. you? Uh, maybe that's no. on our Wikipedia yeah, page. Maybe that, yeah. <laughs> they love a beer. Five alcoholics from Guildford. <laughs> I can add that if you want to. Add what you, you want. You can you can you can add it Wikipedia yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you want. To. Well, yeah, maybe not. My mum might read it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Healthy lifestyle. Health, healthier. Just, just a little bit. I, I'm gonna go out there and say we are now progressing as a unit, as a band. So everyone is constantly up in their game. Whether it be our drummer Nick, whether it be Fab, Tom, Johnny, everyone's constantly pushing themselves to do more. And if I don't push myself to do more, then I'm gonna fall behind, and that, therefore the band will never progress. So it. I would say it's also a conscious effort between all of us to really kind of push ourselves to musical extremes really because yeah that's that's the best way it's just to be challenging with your music and you know it, it takes me a long time to try and do some of the stuff especially on a new record but it's good because it's challenging. Right. I, I think I've seen you once before and yeah. Yeah, but I think it was. I'm, I'm, I'm young. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, no, it's alright. I'm, 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 I'm looking for a corner, and then I'm going go there and, and be ashamed. Okay. okay no um, no, but but what I remember is the powerful um, entry on stage. Yeah. Yeah. What the actual entrance? Yeah, like the the we? entrance when you enter the stage. Okay. You know. Yeah. So so is it an? Uh, I can only presume that because I've only seen you once. But is it a fixed element? You only uh, always got in your show. And, oh and yeah. 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 yeah, yeah is it very important for you? As well? Yeah, it's incredibly important. Um, stage persona is everything, because how you go out with your show and how you approach a show is how the reaction to the audience you're going to get. If you go out there, you know, and I, and I, don't, I don't mean to be angry, I like being an angry dude on stage, but um, if you go out there and not really giving it energy, you know, really just being a bit light lost in, the energy, the, the crowd see that, then you don't get the energy for them, the show kind of drops off. So you, the, it, however you approach the show is how the audience are going to approach it back to you. So it's every time it's got to be energy, uh, aggression, really pushing 
ourselves as hard as possible, trying to keep our dinner down, you know, all that sort of stuff. At the end, at the, end of the day, you're, we're putting on a, a show. You know, people are paying money to come in and watch our band. So we want to make it the best you possibly can, you know. I mean, for example, if, if you went to see uh, a huge band, I don't know, ACDC AC they wouldn't just and they wouldn't ring the bell they, they wouldn't just walk on and oh hey guys and they you wouldn't know, ring the bell they would <laughs> they'd, be a, they'd be they a big uh, they'd be a big entrance put it that way yeah. Yeah. so yeah you want to make the show as yeah. best as possible yeah. alright so that was my last question that was okay. the last one thank you guys thank, thank you for being my, my sunglasses it's gang it's cool. yeah sunglasses <laughs> gang um, yeah. have a great show tonight looking forward to seeing us for the second time yes Good. Very well, I see you in the pit. Crowd <coughs> uh, surfing. Just without the sunglasses, because yeah. they might, not they might the sun, get, yeah, they might might get, get smashed. <laughs> might be singing, clapping. clapping. Singing and clapping. At the back. Yeah. Singing and clapping. Yeah. I like singing. I might give you a high five. Or hey, you yeah. can give me a high right. five. Yeah, give right. me a fist bump halfway through. All right. All right. Yeah. See you. Thanks very much, no, guys. Thank you. All right.